what's that? You washing? <laughs> no way, I've done our butties. Hey, what do you say? Yeah, have you seen this? Butties. Oh? Aw. Oh. Well, there's more than you ever do. Thanks, Jace. Yeah, I'll tell you what, when I get home tonight, I could try dinner, eh? Probably do a curry. Yeah. <laughs> do deserve you, Jace. Just nip and get us my tool bag. Right. Hey, Dad, will I have to, like, get a tool bag at all? Uh, play it by ear, son. See how it goes. Look, how much longer is he staying? Oh, come on. He was right upset last night and now it's his first day at work. Yeah, I know, but this is not what I signed up for. Look, I know, babe, but what can I do? I don't know. It's not my problem. Look, when I invited you to move in here, it's you I wanted, not your flaming kids. I'll have a word. See that you do. Morning! I said morning! Dad! Oh dear. Not feeling too bright, are we? Oh, and yet you look as pretty as a picture. Morning! Well, I hope whatever the matter is, it's not catching. Morning. Morning, Fred. Ladies. Hey, what a lovely day. Well, thank goodness the male of the species has survived the epidemic. Eh? I think young ladies are suffering. Stress, like as not. Ah. Is it stress? Only with you two here. Mm. See, in my experience, very few women will own up to that. Is that right? Mm. Oh, yes. See, women like to think they cope with all things. It comes from childbirth, you see. Apparently, it's difficult. Who oh, wow. are well, you two stopping by there in? Is there how we can do for you, ladies? Yes, you can shove off. I think it must have been an hard night last night. Mm. Well, it's a wild night. Stop it. Fred, please. Well, haven't you better get young Maria in, if you're not feeling yourself? Please go, Fred. I'm H-A-P-P-Y. I'm H-A-P-P-Y. <laughs> and you can stop that and all. What are you going to do about her, anyway? Eh? No. Nothing? No. Why? She's incompetent. I think that's up to me to decide. I can't have my staff walking out like that, Mum. You're going to have to go and apologise. Huh. I'm serious. So am I. I do have professional standards to maintain, so no way. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I might you go back? <coughs> no way. Anyway, I'm late for work. I will see ya. Sorry. Work. What? It's all subject. <laughs> don't bother me. I wish you'd tell me what it is. There's nothing to tell. It's not nothing when you leave your soldiers. I wasn't hungry. Is it to do with your driving lessons? No. Is it something I've done? No. Is it something you've done? No. Well, then. Uh, it, please, it is just something that I need to think about. <sighs> of course. When are you ready? Two teas, maestro. Ah. Shelley might be wanting you in early today. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Yeah, best not to ask. Happens she's got the same complaint as them over in the pub. <laughs> hey, women. See, the way I look at it, it's best not to dwell on the mysteries. I mean, women are unfathomable. They are that. I say they are that. Now, hey, someone's written a book on it. Yeah, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Are you familiar with it? No. I avoid science fiction. I prefer historical romance. No, no, this is not science fiction. Now, the title alludes to the, to the gulf that exists between us. Golf? What golf? Yawning chasm. Excuse me, you're not by any chance discussing problems of the opposite sex. We are that. I say we are that. Why, ah, you got any? Nay. What is the world coming to? <laughs> you have problems with your Ailey. She's delightful. No, no, no. It's not Ailey. It's somebody else. Another woman? Well, no. No, if, if, if one were to seek advice on women, men and women, given your experience, where might one find it? I mean, I've noted the book, the title of the book you recommended. Look no further than this table. We represent the sum of many years' hard-earned experience. Sit this hell down and tell all. Hey, come on. Maybe Jason 
just needs a bit of space. Oh, well, that feckless, irresponsible, lazy, good for nothing layabout. Oh, still hold a torch for him then? Hmm. Hey, you could always light your fire. Well, if he comes near me again, I'll soon put it out for him. Do you know what I did this morning? What? Jason's ironing. Even though I knew he wasn't there, still did it. Oh, how sad's that? I just wish I hadn't been so pig-headed the other night. Hey, come on. No, I just want him back. So, think on, Roy. You tell this friend of yours who wants the advice. The only way to deal with unwarranted advances is to take the bull by the horns, confront the issue. I'll pop you that book by later. Pop, pop, thank you. Oh, hello. You've come looking for Maria, have you? <laughs> well... I don't think she's any better than you are this morning. <laughs> no, don't laugh, Harry. Come on. Hi, Maria. Um, how are you this morning? OK. I was just looking for you to check that um, you're going to come into work today. Why? I've quit. Oh, no, no, you haven't. You didn't mean that. I thought you mean did. Oh, come on now. You, you're my best barmaid. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, that weren't what your mum was saying last night. Oh, well, take no notice of her. I mean... She's had a difficult time lately, what with me, sister and all. I see. Yeah, I mean, I reckon you'd get on like a house on fire if you gave it a chance. Really? Yeah, and she's dead upset about what she said to you last night. So, we come back? And your mum? Will be told what's what. I manage the pub, not her, and I decide who works there, and I want you behind the bar. So, come on, what do you say? Oh, go on then, yeah. Oh, nice. Two bacon baps to go, Roy, please. One with ketchup, one without. Coming up. Mm. There you are. You all right? I am, thanks. Are you? Well, yeah, but I'm at work. Oh, yeah. I didn't fancy it this morning. <laughs> uh, the ketchup situation. Uh, one with, one without. One with, one without. So did you phone in? No, not yet. Why not? It's half ten. No, all right. Well, I need it now, I need a... Why? Because you've seen me. So what do I say to Peter? That you're poorly or what? Tell him what you like, love his family, it don't bother me. Do you the ketchup back? Uh, no, it's one with and one without. One with, one without. Well, there. I've told Maria how you didn't mean the things you said last night and how I expect us all to get along together because we work as a team here, don't we? Yeah, it suits me. Have you also told her about the minimum standards you expect staff to maintain? I'll be the one who makes those judgments. Maria's back. And I'm sure you'll both get along just fine, mm. don't you? How much have you got? Just give us a chance, Janet. Oh, I've lost count now. All right. Yeah. What are we doing? Nothing. Is somebody going to shift up then? We're a bit busy at minute, love. Right. See. Oh. Hey, love. You all right? No, I'm not. Oh, what's up? Those two, like a couple of tomcats, fighting and snarling each other. Maria, love, we get Peter a pint? Oh, is it the time? I should be off. Uh, very funny. You'll stay here and you'll help me. Oh, well, thanks very much. Never heard of customer care, dear. Jelly, you said... All right, all right. £52.40. Oh, great. Hey, I was thinking, I'll take it round later. Yeah, I'll tell Kevin. No. Oh. Woman's work is theirs. Lads will only get embarrassed. Yeah, all that sloppy stuff. Um, give four P. <laughs> Mr. Baldwin. Got it in one. Still, that ain't bad. 52 quid for the Nelsons. All we did was get held up in a siege. I'd do it for 52 quid. This? <laughs> She's only joking. Sorry. Oh, hey, Maria's back. Hey, talking of which, her sparring partners are our. <laughs> Who? Uh, yeah, shit, that's nice. Well, maybe you or I wouldn't agree. What do you mean? Um, now, tell me please, now. Well, uh, Bev came on to Roy last night. Came on to Roy? Well, they were only a laugh. She had this bet going to see if she could uh, seduce next book, could come through the door. Which turned out to be Roy. <laughs> Don't worry, love. He didn't succumb. Yeah, they say he was out that door so fast, folks thought he was going to come off its hinges. Yes, love. 
I believe you tried to make a fool of my husband last night. Your husband? Oh, that was just a bit of fun. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've heard that. And just who decides what's fun? You or your victim? Pardon? You see, my husband and I, we like fun. But we've also had years being the butt of other people's idea of a laugh. I didn't mean... Any harm, no. No, no, I swear it never do, do they? But what if someone's on the receiving end of your fun without knowing it? What happens then? I thought my husband was worried because of his driving lessons and now I realise it was you. Because you've got to have a victim for your sort of fun, don't you? And then what's the next stage? I'll tell you, it's one day fun and then bullying and then discrimination. I mean, we all like a laugh, but you're kind of fun. The ridiculing of a fine, sensitive man for no other purpose than your own pleasure, but it's pathetic. Oh, Hayley. I, I, I know that you've recently been bereaved and I'm sorry for you, truly, I am. But if your way of dealing with your grief is through the humiliation of another person, then I'm sorry, I, I'm afraid I withdraw my sympathy and my custom. Oh. Ah, so that's customer care, is it, Bev? <laughs> <laughs> Grab a buddy. So, how's it going? Yeah, great. Have you always been an electrician? Yeah, most of my life, yeah. Right, and uh, what about your dad? Your granddad? Oh, uh, he was one of the Windrush lads. The what? Windrush. It was a ship that came from Jamaica to Britain. And my dad and his mates were some of those on board. Jamaica? Jamaica's in the Caribbean. Right. Why would anyone want to leave there to come here? I mean, I know where I'd rather be. Well, Britain, after the war, needed workers. So my dad and his mates set sail to discover the land of opportunity. Oh, and did he? Yeah, he discovered that British barbers were rubbish at Afros. So he set up a barber shop in Rochdale. <laughs> this is great. I do know about this. I mean, it's really cool finding out about your family and that. Makes you feel you belong. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Listen, about family. Hmm? Well, your mum. What about her? Well, after that argument yesterday, she's worried she might lose you. You know, she's got a funny way of showing it. Yeah, well, that's women for you, isn't it? But maybe you should think about patching things up. No way. So come on, tell more about my granddad. Hey, are you all right? Oh, yes, fine, thank you. Well, I will be when I've got these beans on toast. Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I'm sorry about this morning. I wasn't entirely open with you. Were you not? No, you see, uh, I did have a problem, but, well, I think it's sorted out now. Is it? <clears throat> Thank, you. Thank you. Yes, well, it, it would appear <laughs> that I have a female admirer. Really? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, it means nothing to me. No, right. Apart from the responsibility. Responsibility? Yes, well, while this is beholden upon me, to appraise her that nothing can come of the situation. It is also beholden on me to, uh, well, be sensitive with her feelings, treat her with respect so that no unpleasantness can ensue. I see. And now, I, I, I've had a talk with some people who have had similar circumstances and also a book recommended. Right, so what are you going to do? Well, um, I was hoping you might tell me. Do nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? I think you'll find that if nothing's done, then this person will eventually get over it. I mean, you, you might be right. And for the record, I can fully appreciate how she feels. Oh. All right, are we, Bev? How's the old customer relations going? All right, why don't you go and relate to that one over there? I can get you. She She's has no fine. idea, that girl. It's not just about standards. It's about maintaining staff dignity. Can we just get on with things, Mother? Let's have some peace. See what I mean? I don't know where I am with a pair of them. Do you think I should apologise for that early? Later, she'll come round. It were only fun. Yeah, but unfortunately, Bev, you picked the wrong fella, you know? I mean, Roy's not the most worldly sort of bloke, let's just put it like that. Not like my Dev, eh? Oh, at last. Peter. Sorry? You're gonna tell me off? Uh, well, I'd appreciate a bit of notice, you know, next time you're going to have a morning off. Yeah, OK. Well, I'll be in later. Well, if you're up to it, yeah. Ooh, I'm up for it. So where is he then, my fella? Dev? Oh, well, I haven't seen him. He's not in the corner shop either. Or well, maybe he's gone off me, what do you reckon? <laughs> no, I wouldn't have thought so. Right, see you later. Bye.
What? Hey, You're giving me a funny look. Am I? Oh, I'm sorry, Tracy. Love, I was miles away. No, come on. What? Um. Well, I was just wondering. Me and you doing a bit of wedding preparation. Well, you've not had your dress fitted yet, have you? So, um, what about Friday? Oh yeah, great. And we'll do lunch too. Now Dev's given me a credit card. <laughs> Ah, uh, young man, I've uh, I've dug that book out for you. Oh, thank you. In fact, I, I no longer require it. Oh? I, well, my friend has decided to take no further action. Oh, really? It's uh, not very wise, in my opinion. Why do you say that? Because these sorts of women can be very unstable. Obsessive personalities, you see. Oh, yes, I've seen it at the airport. They hone in on celebrities. One minute they're making advances, and the next, well, <clears throat> stalking. Stalking. Mm. You take my advice. No action is no defence. Bet you worked up an appetite after today. Chinese all right, then? Mill's not a great one for cooking. Oh, yeah, I love it. Tell you what, why do you like curry tomorrow? Um, so, um, how old when your dad died? 14. What, and you're brought by your mum? Yeah. Well, like me. Years later, there's yeah. Interest all over again. That's how now she's feeling. Really missing you. No, yeah, well, too bad. Yeah, well, I really think you should... Hey, Emil. I'll get your fork. What's he doing here still? I'm trying. Yeah, well, try harder. We know you've had a, a rough time of it, where we? Yeah, but it's been exciting, though. <laughs> Sorry. The thing is, when you first moved here, we could have welcomed you a bit more than we did. So we've come to make amends. <laughs> we've had a whip round. It's a furniture store token. Just so that you can replace anything that might have got broke. 52 quid. Is that what you were doing earlier? Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't have let you see, could we? What kind of a surprise would that have been? <laughs> I thought you'd gone off me again. Oh, love. <laughs> oh. Everybody chipped in. It, it was Kevin's idea. See, I were right, weren't I? <laughs> what good would blokes be round here? Oh, come here. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. What's that? It's a cheque to tide you over. Now, don't look at it now. Come on, put it away. Thank you, ma'am. I'll pay you back when I can, and that will happen. Yes, of course it will. Listen, positive thinking, like me. You're in the salon back on its feet, eh? The only way is up. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> We've got to say something, Peter. No, we haven't. But she thinks he's going to marry her. Well, you know my motto, you leave it well alone. Yeah, I've noticed. So you're getting on with Tweedledum and Tweedledee there, then. Oh, I don't. I don't know which one's worse. I don't know which problem's worse. Them. Of them. Guess what I'm doing on Friday. Surprise me. I'm gonna go and get my bridesmaid dress fitted. Right. Sure you don't mind talking about it? Well, why should I? It's just that most men would be trying to change the subject. Mm, no, but I'm not like most men. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm late. I've got fish fitting, all right? Yeah, good, good. I've got salmon. I thought we could do with an Omega-3 fish oil boost. Yes. You all right? Uh, well... And then after tea, I thought we could have a game of Scrabble. We've not had a game for a couple of nights, have we? I think we should go to the Rovers. Do you? Why? Well, this person that I was telling you about, she, she works at the Rovers. And I have it on good authority that, left unchecked, these crushes can develop into more serious situations. So I, I think I should go there and see her and, and let her down gently. Roy, sit down. Yeah, well, I'll just get my coat first. Roy, it, it, it was a joke. Sorry? That woman, Bev, she played a joke on you. A cruel, nasty, tasteless joke. And, and uh, do you know this to be a fact? So other people will, will know as well? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I suppose I should have realised. Well, why should you? It's not your fault the world's full of cruel people. Yes, but I was vain enough to believe that it was true. Oh, well, hardly. If I remember rightly, your main concern was not to hurt her feelings. You're not thin. You're sensitive and honourable, and I love you. Well, at the end of the day, that, that's, that's what really matters. I'd like to think so. Yeah, and, and yes, I would love a game of Scrabble with you. 
I have thought of getting the French version to, to sharpen our language skills or another language. What do you think? Whatever you say. Hmm. What do you think makes good wedding? Mm, good friends. Nice location with the relaxed ambiance and food and fine wine. Just the um, essentials in the mind. And me a bridesmaid. Always a bridesmaid, eh? Hey. But that's supposed to mean that you're second fiddle, then forget it. As far as I'm concerned, you're the bride. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it a 20 you gave me? Yeah, it was. Sorry, Pat. So, the gentleman... Uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. Standards, yes, and I'm the one who maintains them. Who were it said women can't live with them, can't live without them? I believe it was a Marx brother. Or was it Baudelaire? Everything all right? Fine. Good. Pint, Fizz. Yeah. Uh, I'll bring it over to you. Could do with the chat. All right. Uh, you will not. That young lady is fit enough to carry her own drink and you're needed here. Oh, enough off you. You're not my boss. If I were in charge, you wouldn't last two minutes. You're incompetent and lippy. To sell at each other. Nothing I can handle. Uh, Maria, are you bringing me pint over a what? Yeah, yeah. You are not. Oh, look, Bev, you might think you're the big cheese and everything, but the real test is whether the punters like you or not. Now, they all like me. You just send them packing. I didn't know Roy was sensitive. Yeah, well, that's just it, isn't it? You never bothered to find out. Your sort never do. You think you're oh so clever, but you're brain dead. At least I keep my brain in my head, not in my knickers, which, from all accounts, is where you keep your... Oh! <gasps> Under control. Right. That's it. I've had enough. Get your cards. What? You're sacked. Leave now. You don't mean it. Oh, yes, I do, lady. Right. Well, you'll be sorry. I've been wondering what to do with you all afternoon. Well, now you've just made my mind up. Go on, shove off and don't come back. 